Okay. Now, let's get to something that's what I would consider a little bit involved on 6L8090 units. And uh, this is a situation, you're going to be on page 42 to kick this off. And uh, this is a situation where, uh, for some reason, the builder has needed to either change a valve body, change a channel plate, a lower valve body, upper valve body is what I mean, change a spacer plate. And uh, what has happened here is we have mismatched components. Uh, as you know, switching valve body components, you always have to be careful. Uh, because of subtle differences, and all of a sudden, now something don't work the way it's supposed to. Well, this is one of those situations. You can't mix what we call early and late components. Uh, they're called first design, second design, first design being early, second design being late. And uh, what we're going to show you is examples of this. Now, this is going to affect the 3-5 reverse clutch. You're going to have a problem with reverse. You're going to have a problem with third. You're going to have a problem with fifth. Now, it ranges depending upon how you mismatch this. You can have a very poor reverse engagement. You can have a wicked 2-3 flare or a wicked 4-5 flare. Or you could have no reverse, no third, no fifth. So here we go. What you're looking at here, and on page 42, you're looking at a 2010 to 2014 spacer plate on an 07 to 2010 valve body. In other words, what we got is we got a late spacer plate on an early valve body. If you see what's going on here, this is going to affect the oil circuit that encompasses our number 5 check ball and our number 7 check ball. Now notice, this is a late valve body. So you have a wall here separating the number 5 and 7 check ball. That is going to be significant here. This is an early plate. I bring your attention to this rectangular opening. A late plate will not have that. You can't have this design plate on this design valve body. It will not work. First thing that's going to happen, actually two things are going to happen. One is you're going to lose your 3-5 reverse feed oil. That's where the issues come in with problems with reverse third and fifth gears. So it'll be number five check ball here in this little schematic, which actually feeds the number seven check ball and then goes off to the 3-5 reverse regulator valve, which is responsible for controlling the rate of apply to the 3-5 reverse clutch. And of course, the end result is you have, when it does it right, you have good reverse, good third, good good reverse, and fifth. All right, so now we lose our 3-5 reverse feed oil. Next, it floods the shift solenoid two circuit. It has reverse, not too great, but it has it. But it's got crummy shifts. I mean, you got those, that 2-3 flare and that 4-5 uh, flare, uh, and it's pretty bad. And that is because we have intrusion of oil into the shift solenoid 2 pressure circuit here. This is actually going to affect this 5A circuit and this 7A circuit as we feed the 5 and 7. So here we have the, uh, the late spacer plate on the early valve body is what caused that. Okay? So now, go to page 43. Page 43, we're looking the other side of the coin here. We now have an 07-2010 spacer plate on a 2010 to 2014 valve body. In other words, we have an early uh, plate on a late valve body. Here again, that will not work. This will block the feed to the 3-5 reverse regulator valve. You will have no reverse. And that is because... When they went to design level 2, this wall was added. So, here you have an incorrect mismatch, which is going to affect notice. Let's go back. See this area here? 
see that rectangular opening in the er in the late plate? Notice it's gone. It's not on the early plate. So you're going to put this plank area over here and totally block the reverse circuit. So that's obviously it's not going to be a good scenario. So now let's look at this also on page 43. The first design, you have a direct feed from the number 5 ball, which is here, this little circuit. Uh, that's a shuttle ball. That feeds the number 7 metering ball, which is your 3-5 reverse supply. So there they are highlighted. There's number 7, there's number 5, there's the channel they share. Remember, this is an early. The late will have that wall right about here. So in the late, those circuits were separated. And of course, the spacer plate has to match that configuration. So now, let's look at a little bit of hydraulics here. You have this on page 44. This is the reverse uh, uh, hydraulic we're looking at. Let's take a look at this. There's your number five ball. Notice it has seated to the left. This is your three five reverse supply going past the number seven check ball, comes to the three five reverse regulator valve, okay, and continues on all the way up until it gets to the three five reverse clutch. In addition to that, if you look, you have okay. In addition to that, if you look, we have right here, let me find it off oh, clutch select valve three. And this valve is what's actually controlling the soil flow for both the 3 5 reverse clutch and what I'm going to show you right now which is right here this is your CBR circuit so in addition to the 3 5 reverse CBR circuit is going to come right off clutch select valve 3 going to go all the way up to the low reverse clutch put that on and bang we've got reverse so 3 5 reverse low reverse clutch is on okay so now that's reverse now let's see third gear. We're going to do a two three here. Pressure feeds the number seven ball through the space plate to the three five reg valve. This is going to control the rate of apply for our three five reverse clutch. So now what's happened here? We have our number five ball is moved over to the left hand side. So now we're able to feed the drive I six circuit. That's going to prepare for a, uh, a shift into fourth gear when we need to put the four, five, six clutch on. But in third gear, we still need our one, two, three, four clutch, which is already on, but we still need our three, five reverse. So here again, we're coming off the three, five re reverse regulator valve, and we're going to go on all the way up, and we're going to go ahead and apply that three, re re uh, reverse clutch up here. Our one, two, three, four clutch is on. Our three five reverse clutch is on. Bang, we have third gear. Now what's going to happen is in fourth gear, the four five six is already applied. What we're going to do is we're just going to make a shift to fifth gear. And of course, at that point, the four five six remains on. <clears throat> and uh, at that point, as you can see, the mismatch is going to affect what oil coming from this number five and number seven check ball circuit and that's why we have the symptoms we have. So let's look at some of the uh, parts here. You have this on page 45. This is your first design. What we call the early. Uh, pressure feeds through the number seven ball through the channel plate. Now here is your five ball bathtub. Here is your metering ball pocket for number seven. There's your channel. Goes up just like that. No wall here. Remember, this is an early. Okay? So we're going to feed the 3-5 reverse reg valve to control the rate of the 3-5 reverse clutch apply. Remember I said that. Apply. We're controlling the apply rate. Okay? 
That's going to change with second design. So, still on page 45, we're now going from spacer plate to valve body, and this is our 5A circuit we're using, right to our number 5, number 7 check ball metering. Pressure feeds the number 7 check ball in this scenario, goes through the spacer plate to the valve body, 3-5 reg valve. Here again, we're controlling the rate of the 3-5 reverse clutch apply. Now, this is 07 to 2010 you're looking at here, so this is the early. Now, to the channel plate, still early, so we're now feeding through the spacer plate to the channel plate instead of the valve body. Pretty much the same scenario, we're going to feed the number 7 check ball area through the spacer plate to the channel plate, 3-5 reg valve again, to control the rate still of the 3-5 reverse clutch, still apply is what we're controlling. Now, let's take a look at second design. Here we go. There's our seven ball metering pocket. There's our shuttle ball in the bathtub. There is our wall that was added. The late design blocks passage at the number seven check ball with the wall, right here. Okay? That's the difference, the big difference. And that's what creates the problems when you mismatch. <clears throat> so now, looking at this on page 47, the spacer plate received an additional slot before the wall was even put into the casting. They were getting ready to make this uh, transition to second design. Now what it is, does is when, that, when the two came together, it forced it into a slot in a channel plate here. So now we're feeding the number five check ball through the spacer plate to number seven using the spacer plate to get into the walled off number seven metering valve uh, metering ball area. Now when that happened look what happened here. We now are using the 5A circuit, 6A circuit and 7A circuit going through to the six number six circuit in the channel plate and look what happens now. We now root through an orifice the ball seat number seven area and onto the three five reverse reg valve as this little schematic shows but now for a controlled exhaust instead of controlled apply. So what second design did and why those changes were implemented and why they don't work well when you mismatch them is instead of controlling the apply side of this clutch for rate, we are now going to control how the clutch operates in those gears on the release side of the clutch. That was the big change. So all I can say here is what you want to do is you want to ensure that if for some reason you have to uh, change an individual component in the valve body assembly be careful what you're doing here. Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.